Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading. End of April, April 23rd through the 30th, could be the beginning of May, whatever. This is for the end of April for the sign of Aries. I want to thank you for your patience. I'm shedding. My cats are shedding, my dog's shedding, so I apologize for the hair, but you know, we're all a bunch of animals that are shedding. <laughs> this is for the sign of Aries for the end of April. does Aries need to know? I hope you guys all had a great birthday. Oh, well, working hard, asserting yourself, maybe letting go of a situation, no longer going to resist in some way, looking at something through a new perspective. Yeah, you guys are bringing some relief to your life. I know that you have probably been reluctant, but I see some level of relief here. Maybe because you stand up for yourself. Hmm. Sometimes you got to stand up for yourself because if you don't, people step on step on you. You know, so it feels like you guys are probably communicating. You're speaking your truth. You're finding your power and you're using your power. You've been sitting on the fence. You've probably been indecisive and you've been restricted. And when you're restricted, what do you got to do? You got to say something. You got to stand up. You got to take charge. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You've been taking charge or you're about to take charge in a situation there's been some disappointment here. There's been some power struggles, and I feel like you guys are probably speaking up. Yeah, it's like, I deserve justice. I deserve balance and harmony in my life. So I feel like you guys are, you know, you're doing the right thing. And you're doing the right thing for you at this point. You're seeking balance and you accept nothing less. That's what it looks like. I think that you guys are working really hard to do the right thing for you. And that's fantastic. I love it. You know, and when you do that, you do get what you deserve. Even if it's from the universe, you do get a reward. And I feel like that you guys are probably being rewarded for hard work. That's what it looks like to me. You know, you could be receiving even a pay increase or a bonus because of your hard work. Could be, won't be for everybody. But you're definitely getting what you deserve because of your integrity, because of your honesty and your hard work. You, you, it looks to me like you guys are getting what you deserve. And you may be feeling very liberated at this time. I feel like it's an end, the end of a difficult situation. That's what it looks like to me. No longer going to stay in the safe zone. I think that's where you've been. You've been staying in the safe zone. And I think that you're at this point now where it's not about being in the safety zone. It's about getting what I deserve. So I'm going to have to do something about this. I think you guys are, are waking up, you know, from hibernation or whatever it is. And not sitting on the fence, okay? I think you had been. It's like, no, I'm not going to sit back on the sidelines and watch nothing happen. Something's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. Um, you guys have, have been going through some sort of healing. You have. And even though you may still be feeling some kind of hurt or grief, I think you're at the end of a difficult period. I, I feel like um, with this Two of Swords, things had been stalled. Thing, the truth, you know, maybe you were you known what was going on for a while now, you knew what you were going to do, but you were had this fear of taking action, what the repercussions were gonna be. I think think that you've been torn in two different directions and you know, now you could be deciding that what you want, because this is a decision. I think that you guys have made some sort of decision 
and you're about to step outside of your comfort zone. You've been very conflicted about this decision that you are about to make or that you're making right now, but I feel like, you know, you guys are absolute, and you've been reluctant, but you're, I think that this is the month or the time or the period that you decide to step outside of your comfort zone and go against the grain. That's what it looks like to me. It's like I've been stalling and, and pretending long enough I'm not going to do that anymore. You may have been avoiding the truth for a while, because this is avoiding the truth for a while. Okay. So, yeah, it's like wherever you are at, there was a lack of emotional content. Somebody was emotionally unavailable, whether it was you or whoever you were dealing with. You know, it, it was like there was a lack of emotion. There was a lack of playfulness. There was a lack of fulfillment. And I feel like whatever, wherever you've been, it's caused you to be emotionally unavailable. And now you're ready to step outside. You're ready to, to accept the truth that this is no longer content. It's, it's not my passion and I'm going to follow my passions. You know, and I feel like confidence and courage has held you back. And I think that you've been using that as a crutch to stay stuck. And I feel like now you're at this point where you're about ready to rip off the blindfold, rip off the mask, and move forward. Step outside of your comfort zone because you're ready. You're ready. That's what it looks like to me. You're ready to take the next step. Okay? You're, fi you, you're finding your strength, your courage, and your confidence. Here, there's a lack of a compromise, a lack of cooperation with whoever else you're dealing with. They're not compromising. They're not cooperating. They don't want to work together. And you can't, you can't pretend anymore that they're going to change or that this is going to work out. No, 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 no. I'm not going to pretend. It's time for me to make a decision. You have two, two, two. You have several twos here. You have three of them at least. This is about making a decision, making a choice with faith and trust that you know what's right. Okay? I feel like... Um, you guys are working on your foundation and who you may be dealing with somebody who's not putting in effort. So you've been doing all the work and you're ready to speak up and say, what the hell are you doing? Are you going to engage? Are you going to be part of this? What do you want? I feel like you are absolutely on the right track as well. You know, you guys are making conscious changes. You are. You're making changes for the better and letting go of burdens and responsibilities and baggage that has been holding you back. You may be. You may have been feeling a lack of self-worth or a lack of gratitude. And, you know, maybe you're dealing with somebody that didn't have any gratitude. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who, you know, was taking from you. And it feels like you're ready to let that go. That's what it looks like. It looks like you're ready to let go of whatever ungratefulness that is holding you back, whether this is a person or it's within yourself. Somebody, I think, or something has been holding you back from moving forward, and I think that you are about ready to Well, you know, we have some contradictions here. This is releasing. This is uh, letting go of burdens, letting go of responsibilities, making a conscious change. This is not taking action. So this could be this person over here. You could have been dealing with somebody who is lazy, you know, somebody who take, 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 takes and doesn't put in any effort, okay? So I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but I feel like there's been a loss of abundance here. I think you're dealing with another person that was financially unstable, Aries. That's what I think. And I think you've, you're coming to grips with it. That if, you're, if you can't help out, if you can't put in, if you can't be a partner here, because twos are about partners. We had those three twos. If you can't be a, a solid partner, then I'm not sure this is going to work out. It feels like there is a run of bad luck here, and a lot of it is financially. I think you're dealing with somebody who is financially unstable, and they've taken from you, and you're coming to the, to the grips that I might have to let you go if you can't provide, if you can't put in, if we can't work as a team. 
you know, and it feels like things have been out of control financially, and I don't think it's you. I think it's the person you're dealing with. So I feel like this month you might find the strength and the and the courage to take some action and do what's right for yourself because if you don't, this person's going to continue to take from you. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have the energy and the same drive as you do, the same work ethic. Yeah, this is what's going on here. You have the passion, you have the drive, you have the spark. Whoever you're dealing with, they're not they're not doing anything. They're like they're not even moving forward. They're not holding on to their money. They don't making money. They're they're totally squandering the money. So interesting. So you're probably like I'm not sure if I can move forward with you. I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I want to. Because you have a lack of discipline. Somebody has that you are dealing with has a lack of dif discipline. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be another uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with anybody, but I feel like you're dealing, you're trying to get things back under control financially, and you're dealing with somebody who is really hard to control financially because they don't save money; they spend money. And I think there's a lot of conflicts. There's conflicts of interest here with another person. And they probably emotionally blackmail you because of the money. Oh, you know, they do the crying bit, you know, or the, the retreat and lack of communication. You know, they play the victim. They, they go hide in the corner because of the money. And they try to turn it around because of the money. And I just feel like... You know, this is an issue at the end of the month. You're dealing with a person who isn't putting in the same amount of effort to save the money or get the money or whatever that you are. And that's causing some turmoil here. And I feel like you are about to speak up in regards to your financial future. You're about to do the right thing for you. And if you're going to be part of this team, you're going to have to really... become more financially stable. You know, and your intuition is telling you the truth. So you're seeing things actually absolutely clearly at this time. You are. So trust your intuition at this time. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody who is very secretive. And you know they're keeping secrets. You're considering letting them go. You're considering them blocking them because all they do is, all they do is, is spend the money. You know, they don't want to give the money. You know, they're, they're very greedy. You're dealing with somebody who is very, very greedy. All they care about is the money, and you know it. And I think that you're struggling. You're struggling. Do I let you go? You're sa I'm sacrificing all my hard work, my integrity, my money for you, but you're not putting in the effort. You're not, you're not giving to the situation. You're, I think you're dealing with somebody who is very greedy. And you're considering blocking them or cutting them out. <laughs> you know, and here you are trying to remain in control. Trying to keep things under control. Trying to do the right thing. You know, trying to keep things organized. But there's still a loss of money here. And it's causing some family feuds. What are you doing with the money? And that's what I get with the money. What, why? We need to keep things under control here. You're trying to do the right thing. But you're dealing with another person that isn't on the same level as you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I feel like... You know, there could be some family feuds at the end of this month because somebody is trying, somebody's out of control financially and somebody's trying to keep the control. So there could be some squabbles at the end of the month over money. So you may consider to move on. You may consider to just, you know what, I can't do this anymore. If we can't work as a team with the Three of Pentacles reversed, then why are we doing this? Many of you are trying to keep things balanced, organized, and structured, and you're dealing with another person that doesn't have the means inside of them to do the same. Yeah, this person may be loving and kind, but they're not financially stable. 
and they're not putting in efforts but stay financially. Aries. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in sooner. Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. So this is what I have for the end of April, Aries. I wish you the best. You have what it takes to regain the control. You are the boss. Stand up for yourself. Talk to you later.